Hi friends, all right, so welcome to a new application. This time I've created a document chatting application. All right, so let's get this demo started. Click on upload and upload a document. All right, so currently chatting with short three pages type PDF. All right, so you can see that this document is currently loaded and I was testing it. So these are the persisting chat that have loaded. Here you can see that recent documents will display three of the most recent documents that you have uploaded. And on the left sidebar, you can see that all the documents that you have. Now, simply let's uh, try to find something. All right, so here's the PDF. And now let's ask it about this the hare and the tortoise story. Let's just say that uh, hunter, what's the story about? Wonderful. So the story of hare and tortoise is about how slow and steady can win the race. So we are currently chatting with this. Now we simply switch to this study in Scarlet Short. And yeah, right now we don't have anything with this. All right, great. So the story is about a man who takes his medical degree from the University of London and is sent to India with, you know, what the story is about. But OK, so this is working properly. So as you can see on this recent documents panel that we support PDF, CSV and text file. And I can also load this CSV just like this. So currently chatting with app CSV and uh, let's just say that how many records are there? All right, so it doesn't know. So let's ask something more specific. So let's ask it, what's the website of this federal LLC is? Great, so it has brought back the price.net one. And yes, it is correct. So yeah, we are able to successfully chat with PDF, CSV and text files. Now, in file management, you can see all the files that you have and you can delete them. That's it, so file deleted and it will be deleted from everywhere. All right, so now here's the settings button. This is an important feature that you can save multiple OpenAI accounts. Right now, as you can see, I've added my CodeJana account here and I'm using that. So if I try to save some invalid account it will immediately tell me that the OpenAI key is invalid but if I save a valid key so this is valid let's save it with any name actually the account name and email doesn't matter let's save it so yeah we checked it and the setting was saved successfully so before you load any document you have to set an active account all right if you make this account active then open ai key of this account will be used now let's log out so as you can see we can log in and obviously if you are going to buy this you're not going to have an account so you can register a new account and you can create as many accounts as possible so early adopters of this application will have 50 percent discount on the new version 